Hey class, session four of the week. Uh, we're going to do that repeat workout today. So um, remember that we go through a certain number of exercises first time through, and then we repeat those same exercises doubling up. Um, and then we'll go to the next grouping of exercises. So there's three groupings and we will start now with our chest expansion. <clears throat> So it's the fourth session of the week. It's the end of the week for you. Just be aware, right? How you feel, any soreness or fatigue, just take it, be very gentle, be very careful with yourself, especially when warming up. The other thing is we want to make sure that we're mindful of our breathing today with our movement. Okay, and that will help guide us through this workout at the end of the week. All right, let's go split arms. And down for dynamic. And cow. Come on down to a seated position. We'll go into our seated hip circles first before we go down for our hundred. So go ahead and slightly lean back and just start to circle. <coughs> Good comfortable size circle just to warm up that region. And other direction. And switch legs. And reverse. Good. All right. Let's come on down for our 100. Go ahead and bring your knees with you. Legs all the way up. And go ahead and begin. Come on down. Okay, so we're going to start with our single leg stretch, so traditional single leg. So go ahead and bring your knees in, head and shoulders up, scooping, and go ahead and begin. Gentle pull on the knee, full extension of that horizontal leg. more each leg and rest. All right, so double leg today, no arm sweep. We're just reaching back with our arms. So go ahead and bring your knees in, head and shoulders up. And we're just going to open, reach out, extend. 
extend and come back in. one and rest nice okay so crisscross uh, traditional crisscross except we're going to hold our hands in a different position so instead of our hands being behind our neck we're gonna slide our hands along the side of our head so almost covering our ears okay and so our elbows are going to be facing forward more so than if they were behind our neck. Okay, so just sliding the hands over the ears. Go ahead and bring the knees in, head and shoulders up. Place your hands right along the side of your head, elbows facing forward, and go ahead and begin. So the reason I'm doing this is because we're eventually going to get to a stacked arm position. And so we want to get used to not pulling on the neck or holding the neck, right? Keeping that chin to chest without the assistance of the hands. Last one. And relax. Okay, so a little bridge exercise with one arm work. <clears throat> so we're actually going to split arm just like we do with our warm up, okay? Uh, with our bridging. So go ahead and bring your arms down alongside your body here. And we're going to lift the hips up and reach back with one arm. And from here, I'm going to lower this arm and lower the hips and then I'm going to reach back with the opposite arm okay and reach and reach and reach and one more so we'll change this up a little bit in a second time through, but just want to get you used to reaching with one arm back, okay? All right, so <clears throat> we have single straight. We're going to reach out with our arm to the side. We've done this before, so go ahead and bring both legs up. I'm going to pull my right leg in, let my left leg go, and I'm going to reach out with my left arm. Pull the left hand. Leg in, hold on to that left leg, drop the right, reach out with the right. Okay? Reach and pull the leg for a little bit of a stretch through the back of the leg, scooping, chin to chest. One more. Final exercise for the first grouping is our double straight, of course, right? Um, so last time we did a split at the top, or at some point, one of the sessions, we did a split at the top, the legs. We're actually going to split at the bottom. And I know we've done this before, um, but I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate anyway. So both legs are up, head and shoulders up, hands behind our neck. So I'm going to drop my legs, and at the bottom, I'm just going to slightly part the legs and then lift the legs from there, okay? All right, here we go. It doesn't have to be a big V position at the bottom. Lower the legs. Split. Lift. Again. So we're just down there a little bit longer. Last one here. All right, go ahead and rest. Nice. Okay, so this will be tough because these are the foundation of our workout, really, as we warm up. 
um, in our fab five. So we're gonna repeat those exercises again and we're gonna double up, okay? So we're gonna start with our single leg traditional and then we're gonna go right into our double leg with just our reach back. So no arm sweep here. So back to back, go ahead and bring the knees in, head and shoulders up and go ahead and begin. So single leg. And we're gonna go into double leg here. Both knees in, reach back, pull them in again. Last one. Good, and rest. Nice. All right, so our next two, we're gonna go into that crisscross with hands alongside our head here over our ears. And then we're gonna go into a different style of bridge, but with the same single arm, okay? Splitting the arms there. So go ahead and bring the knees in, head and shoulders up, hands alongside, elbows facing forward, and begin your crisscross. Last one. Good. Arms alongside your trunk. All right, we are going to lift and reach. And as we come down, we're switching the arms. So switch and reach. Good. So just splitting, switching. One more. Nice. Arms down. Good. All right. We have our single straight followed by our double straight with the split. So we're reaching out with that single straight. Go ahead and begin. Pull and reach. Switch and reach. Last one here, legs at the top, hands behind your neck, go ahead and lower and part at the bottom, and rest. One more. Good. All right, feet down, head down, arms down, rest. Nice, okay. So I'm gonna introduce a new exercise. So what I'd like you to do is roll up to a seated position or roll to your side and push yourselves up if you cannot, okay? Good, come on up. <clears throat> So, you're eventually going to learn an exercise called the tree, um, but we're going to start with the exercise called the shrub, okay? <laughs> so it's a short tree. Um, we are going to <clears throat> try this. Um, it is a version of our roll-up, okay? Um, but we're going to try it with a little bit of pace. So it kind of imitates uh, the rolling like a ball. So if you need to increase the pace and really kind of rock or roll on your back, that's fine, but we really are trying to slow it down and roll up like we would in a roll up. So let me demonstrate. So I'm going to bend 
one knee and I'm going to hold on to this bent knee and I'm going to extend my other leg. Um, if you want, you can bend this static leg here. <clears throat> I'm going to scoop, so I'm collapsing my spine, rounding it, right? And I'm going to come back, pulling this knee or bringing this knee with me, keeping my rear grounded and centered on this mat. So sometimes what happens is if you lift one leg at a time, you start to um, overcompensate or you'll be, you're compensating and so you're on one side of your body. So we want to make sure that we're pressing down, pressing the rear down, pressing the back down as we bring this knee with us. Okay, and then I am going to come back up, scooping and pulling myself up, okay? And then I'll switch at the top, other leg. Focus on pressing that low back down into the mat, pressing when you pull up. Now, if you need momentum, this is what's gonna happen. <clears throat> when you come down, I'm going to bring both legs with me. See that? If you need to. Otherwise, we're slowing it down, keeping the leg on the floor. So let's try it. Shrug. So again, if you want to bend this leg a little bit, you can. You can also use that foot pressing down, right, to help or with leverage to pull up. So if you can do a roll up, you should be able to do a shrub. <clears throat> if you cannot do a roll up, this is probably challenging. Okay, so you'll just maybe use the momentum. Okay, all right, let's finish at the top. <clears throat> We're gonna roll back with an opening side to side. Okay, so legs are bent, collapse the spine, arms extended, leaning back, open, center, open, center, roll up. So we're down in that roll back position a little bit longer. Here we go, down, open, open, up. <clears throat> down, open, open, and up. Good. All right, <clears throat> extend those legs down for spine twist. So today we're gonna go ahead and interlock the hands and we're going to pull one arm, keep bent, pull the elbow back as we pull the straight arm across. Back to center, other way, bend and pull. <clears throat> Maintaining posture. So you should feel the assistance of the stretch or the twist with this pull, right? Good. Let's go into front stretch all the way over the top. One more. Good. All right, go ahead and bend your knees. We're going to come back on our elbows. <clears throat> and we're going to have a combination move here. So keeping one leg bent, we're going to straighten the other leg here. So I'm going to lift my rib cage. I'm going to pull this knee in first, extend. Do not touch the mat, lift the straight leg. Pull in, so knee pull, 
leg lift. You pull, lift, pull, lift, one more, pull, and lift. Let's switch legs, keeping that rib cage lifted, right? Here we go, pull, One more. Pull and lift and come up. Keeping our legs bent, sitting up tall, we're gonna go right into our mermaid. So side bends. One more each side. And from this position, go ahead and go into seated balance. Hands underneath the thighs. All right. So, stomach massage, traditional, two legs extended. We're going to try this. Starting scooped and rounded, knees are in. I'm going to lean back, flatten my back, extend my legs. So I have this V position here holding onto my legs. Pull it in, round my back, open. So we slowly like extend our legs, but kind of lower the legs slightly as we lean back so we can open up. You'll notice that. That allows my lower back, my lumbar area to flatten out comfortably should notice the difference between the scoop and the flat, that position change in that lower back. One more. Good. All right, spine stretch. Okay, so we are going to repeat those same exercises again, starting with our shrub. Um, so we're going to go ahead and bring our legs together. Now, you decide how you're going to practice this, with momentum or without momentum. Just make sure that you're keeping your rear grounded on the mat. Go ahead and bend this knee. Scoop. Come back. Press and pull. Good. Other leg. I like to slowly go down so that I keep my rear connected to the mat. side. Finish at the top. And then keeping my legs bent, I'm going to do some rollbacks with opening, collapse, lean back, open, 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 and lift. Nice. Okay. 
Okay, straighten those legs, spine twist, interlocking hands, pull, other way, One more on each side. Back to center, front stretch. Let's go ahead and bend our knees. Come on back to your elbows. Lift the rib cage up. Extend one leg out. Knee pull. Leg lift. And switch. In and up. Last one. with bent, mermaid with bent knees. Here we go. Okay, from here, seated balance, so you know whether or not you can do this with both legs. If not, you can just do single leg and bring, keep one leg down on the ground if you'd like. <clears throat> seated balance. Here we go. Stomach massage. Massage. Open. And close. One more. And spine stretch. Second done, moving on to the third. Go ahead and bring your legs together. So we are going to turn over. So this is all of our finished exercises, our back exercises, right? So go ahead and turn over onto your tummy. <clears throat> all right, so we have a trunk lift and a double leg lift. So I'm going to make this complicated. <laughs> Okay, so the trunk lift, I'm going to go ahead and start with my arms out and leading, so ahead of my, my shoulders here, okay? The trunk lift, of course, my lower body stays down, right? 
So I'm going to lift and I'm going to sweep my arms. Okay, so it's very similar to pull straps, except my arms are here, they're leading my head or my trunk, and I'm going to sweep and come down. Okay, from here, using these arms as leverage, I am resting here on my chin. I'm going to lift both of my legs here. You can put your forehead down if you'd like. And I'm going to close and open, close and open, and then bring my legs down. Okay? So it's like, um, kind of like grasshopper, right? The heel taps, but my legs are extended. All right, so from here, I'm going to lift with sweep, pull down, legs up, in and out, in and out, lower. Trunk lift, leg lift, trunk lift, and leg lift. Good. All right, so modified push up into single leg pull back. So go ahead and bring your hands right outside your chest. Keeping your knees together and down. I'm going to push up. And from here, instead of going into low back stretch, I'm going to extend my leg back. Oop, I don't have any room. Extend my leg back and touch down. See that? Come back forward, other leg back, and touch down and come forward. Hips down, push up, single leg back, single leg back. So it's like pull down, but we're in modified. Back, back. It's like a blend of low back stretch and a pull down without being on our foot. One more. Good. Okay, from here, go ahead and kneel tall. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with my arms at my sides. So we're leaning back. And when I lean back, I'm going to raise my arms in front. Real simple, keeping our glutes engaged. Everything is nice and strong here. Leaning back, reaching tall. Come down. Dog kicks. Table position. So I am going to bring my left elbow in with my right knee in. See this? So my knee comes off the floor. And then from here, I'm going to extend my arm and my leg back. So working on balance, centering yourself in and out. And in and out. Breathe. Slow down the movement. Very controlled. All right, so let's switch. Right arm, left leg. In and out. Straight back, straight up. Good. 
All right, both hands down. All right, so we're going to go into high plank. Knees off the ground. These are called ankle touches or pikes, okay? So I'm going to come down like downward dog, but I'm going to touch my opposite leg with my hand. And I'm going to touch my opposite leg with my other hand, okay? Hips are down. So my hips come up and back like pull, like pull down, right? So I touch, come back to high plank, Touch the other leg, pike, pike, and touch, pike, and touch. So very much a strength move here. We're not push, doing push-ups, but we are definitely holding up our body weight. Here, one more. Good. Knees down. Low back stretch, bring your arms back. Come all the way down for lying leg work here. Hand behind your head. Hand out in front for balance. <clears throat> so I'm going to knee pull, side knee pull, into a straight leg swing out. Okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to pull in and straight leg swing out. So parallel to the floor, see that? So pull in, swing out. Focus on pressing that hip down, pulling those abdominals in, nice and strong in the hips. Doesn't have to be a big swing out. One more. All right, come all the way down. Let's go ahead and bring this other arm over the top. So I'm going to sweep my arm over, reaching away from me, lifting my trunk up onto my elbow, reaching out, keeping my legs down. Come down, sweep back over the top. Focus on your core, nice and strong. Here we go. Pressing the hip down. Pull. Come down. <clears throat> and up. Down. And up. Come down. Last one. And up. Good. Come on up. Switch sides. Behind your head, hand out in front, so we have knee pull, leg sweep, and pull. Bird just flew by. See that bird? <laughs> Last one. Good. All right, come on down. I think they're building nests around my house underneath my eaves. That was a big one. Okay, arm all the way over. Here we go. Sweep, lift, and down. I hope you're seeing this. There's a bird that's flying across my window, back and forth. Watch, here it'll come. I can hear it. Last one. Good, come on up. <clears throat> okay, 
So we're going to start again. So let's go ahead and knee hug and watch this bird fly by. <clears throat> we're going to start again on our tummies. Did you see it? <laughs> uh, we're going to start on my, our tummies with our trunk lift, that combination move, and the leg lifts. Okay. All right, let's go ahead. Turn up <laughs> my bird craziness. So we're going to lead with our arms slightly out in front. All right, here we go. Lift and sweep. Down, legs up, in and up, in and up, down. Lift and sweep. Legs up, in and up, in and up. Sweep. Up, in and out, in and out. Good. All right. Modified push up, hands down, push up, single leg, whoa, and back, other leg, and back, move forward, push up, and back. Go one more. Good. All right, kneeling tall. Start with your arms at your sides. And lean back. Curious, I need to go see where they're building their nest. One more. Good. All right, table position. Dog kicks. So, elbow in, knee in, reach out. And in, and out, and in, out, and in, out, one more, in, and out. Good. Switch arm and leg, start in, extend out, in. In, out, one more, in, and out. All right, so high plank, see if you can do this again. All right, come back, touch, hips down, hips up, touch, down, plank, touch, down, plank. Touch, down, one more on each leg. Back, up, and back. Good. Knees down, low back stretch, arms back. Come on down to our side. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to change it a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and lift the leg up, sweep the leg out. So instead of knee pull, we're leg lifting. Start 
Still pressing that hip down, pulling those abdominals in. Let's go one more. way down, <clears throat> arm over the top. A little change here as well. So I'm going to sweep and lift. And I'm going to lift my arms and my leg or lift up onto my arm and lift my legs up. See that? Come on down, lower the leg, lower the arm, sweep back over. See if you can do this. Ready? Sweep and lift. Keep the legs together and down. Doesn't have to be a big lift. Sweep. Press the hip down, pull the abdominals in, and engage those glutes. Ready? Good. One more. And finish at the top. Good. Bend those knees, push yourself up. Come over to the other side. A little change, straight leg lift. <clears throat> and straight leg sweep. Last one. Lift, legs, and up onto the elbow. Last one. Bend your knees, push yourself up. Seated accordions. Sit up tall, legs in front, arm work here. Arms out to your sides and circle forward. And reverse. Bring your arms in front, circle towards each other. Reverse. elbows back, keeping the arms high, squeeze the shoulder blades, and forward, and back. Forward. Keep your arms here, face your palms towards each other, and we're going to go up, down. I get a little burn here in the shoulders, it's the last day, last session of the week. And stop, good. Oh yeah. All right, stretch forward. One arm across. Other arm. Back to center. And 
knee leg over leg, knee pull. And switch, leg over leg, pull. And extend. Good. All right, you guys, we are done. Final session of the week, good job. Look for the weekly connection and see you soon.